Welcome everyone, this is Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. And for this week's episode of White Glove Wednesday, we're here standing in our Walter Biggs Gallery to learn a little bit more about his artwork. To do so, I've invited special guest Anna Elmore to come talk about some one of his art pieces of artwork. Anna is actually the curator here at this gallery and one of the volunteers we have at the Salem Museum. News, a watercolor by local artist Walter Biggs. This is just one of the many Biggs works we have on display here at the Salem Museum. This particular painting even received a gold medal award from the American Watercolor Society in 1951. Although Biggs was born in Elliston, Virginia, he was raised here in Salem and showed interest in creating art from a young age. After one unsatisfying semester at Virginia Polytechnic Institute, he moved to New York City to study art. While there, he primarily worked on illustrations for magazines and periodicals, and after a long and successful career, he returned to Salem. One unique quality about Biggs is that he was surprisingly progressive for a white man raised in the Jim Crow era South. A fellow artist, Ernest Watson, described Biggs' candid depictions of African American subjects as full of dignity and humanity and free from caricature or negative implications. Many of Biggs' paintings depict African-American subjects as well as the predominantly black historic Water Street community here in Salem. Thank you, Anna. That's gonna conclude it, everyone, for this week's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, this is Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. I'll see you next time.